Welcome again to another part of our tutorial. This time, you'll be ready to learn creating the content of your learning package using the Reading Activity iDevice. The Reading Activity iDevice of EXE provides learners with structure to their reading activity. This helps put the activity in context for the learner. When we create this content, it is also important to correctly reference any reading material you refer to as this model's best practice to the learners. To start this tutorial, we will first create an activity for the pre-reading task. Pre-reading tasks often aim to raise the reader's knowledge of what they are about to read as this knowledge will help them to understand the text. To do this, first select Activity from the iDevice pane. You can change the title activity to a title of your choice. For this one, we'll rename it to Pre-Reading. Type in the text of the pre-reading task. For this one, we'll type one motivation and one motive question that the student can think about and answer himself. The first question is the motivation. It goes, how do you show your appreciation for the beauty of nature? Next question, which is the motive question, goes, how did the speaker show his appreciation for the beauty of nature? And finally, we'll put in a note to read the reading selection. Next, we will format the text using the text editor. When everything is done, we just click on the green check button. And this is how our pre-reading would show. After this, we are now ready to create the content using the Reading Activity iDevice. Go to Reading Activity under the iDevice pane. Now, Go to the first frame or the first box called the What to Read box. Enter the details of the reading including the reference details. The referencing style depends on the preference of your faculty or department. You may also edit the text. For this one, we'll just copy and paste the text from the Word application. Click on Paste from Word button and then locate the text from the Microsoft Word. For this one, we'll choose a poem for our reading selection. Then paste it on the window. And then click on Insert. And do not forget to put the source as well, or the reference for our selection. Now you can use the text editor to edit and to format the text. When it's done, go to the activity box. Describe the task related to what the reading learner should undertake. This helps demonstrate the relevance to the learners. 
For this one, we'll just copy and paste again the text from the word application. What we have here are simple questions that the learner must answer after reading the selection. Again, we can use the rich text editor to format. Finally, go to the feedback box to provide a summary of the points covered in the reading or as a starting point for further analysis of the reading by posing a question or providing a statement to begin a debate. For this one, we'll just type in an enrichment activity. Again, we'll just copy and paste the text from the Word application. Again, we'll just reformat using the Rich Text Editor. When everything is done or done, just click on the green check mark.